Good day everyone, we are iRender. As you may know, iRender provides high configuration dedicated servers which are like Windows computers for rendering. You will connect to our computers via remote desktop window, then have complete control over them, just like you are using your own computer. Today's video is about how to use Cinema Ford and Octane on our server 8s with 6 GPR techs 4090. In this video, we use our iRender GPU app an all-in-one application. Let's get started. The first step is to log in to your iRender account from the app iRender GPU. Now go to Transfer Data to upload your project files. In this step, please use the most stable internet connection that you have. You can drag and drop files from your local PC to the app if the file size is small. Next, go to Machine GPU and create a machine. Here we chose Server 8's with Sixertex 4090. As we will use Ford and Octane today, we will choose the option with pre-installed Cinema Ford. We do hope there will be a pre-installed Octane option in the near future. After creating the machine successfully, you can boot it and connect to it after a few minutes. Here we choose the pay-as-you-go option. Booting time might take a few minutes. Please note that our system starts charging you right after the machine is booted successfully. And to use the license, first, you will need to activate the license type you want to use. iRender provides software licenses for customers with specific conditions. Click the Connect button to connect the remote machine. Now you're on the remote machine and the folders you uploaded before are in Z drive. However, Z is just a network drive so it's recommended to work on hard drives like C or desktop to avoid crashes and slow rendering. As a result, please copy your data to the desktop before opening it. Today, we will show you an example of workflow with Cinema Ford and Octane. So we will use the Ford license provided by a render. If you are not allowed to use iRender's license, or if you use other software, please use your own software license. First, open the iRender License Management app and select the license for Safford. Then you log in to your iRender account. When opening C Ford, select License Type from Max and App Mode to ROM Mode in Maxon's License Manage panel. You only need to do this the first and only time. Cinema Ford is ready to run. Now you can set up suitable parameters and settings as you always do when rendering on your personal computer. Remember to set the output path on C drive or desktop and render to have the most stable render progress. While it's rendering, you can keep an eye on the render preview or turn off your personal computer if you want. The rendering process still continues on our remote computer as long as you do not shut it down. Render completed. After checking your output, you will copy it to AI Drive. Data in the drive can be downloaded to your local computer whenever you want, even when the remote machine is on. Before shutting down the remote machine, please disconnect the license app and close it. Next, do not forget to shut the remote machine down. Our system will stop charging you and send you an email with your latest billing information once you shut down successfully. After shutdown, please use the deactivate software license feature to release the license if you want to continue using the license for another machine next time. Now you can go back to transfer data to download the result from the iDrive. Hopefully this fully integrated app will bring you convenience and a great experience with iRender's service. Thank you for watching, and don't hesitate to give us a try with our most powerful GP servers just with an all-in-one application. iRender, happy rendering and happy training.